Hello, my name is Michelle and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to layer your adhesive vinyl onto your transfer tape so that you can apply your multi-colored vinyl decal to whatever it is you want to apply it to all at one time and everything is completely lined up. Let's get cutting. The first thing that you're going to want to do is in your cutting software you want to add in a registration mark. This can be something as simple as adding in a circle or a square right below your design. The key is when you cut to make sure that those registration marks stay in the exact same spot for every single layer that you cut. That's what we're going to use to line up our design. Whew, that is a lot of vinyl. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go through each one of these sections and we're going to just trim out the areas of our design that we need. And then we'll put the other pieces back into our scrap pile. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trim down some of these designs. That is a lot of layers. Okay, so what we need to do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna weed out each one of these layers of our design. So that's what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna use my simple weeding tool and I'm going to weed, which means I'm going to get rid of all the extra vinyl around my design that I don't need. And as we do this, you'll really start to see it come to life. So these are the registration marks that we're going to be using to line up our design. And as we go through this, you'll notice we have those exact same registration marks on every single element and layer. And we added those into our software. We took the design and we just put a circle just directly underneath the SVG and cut it in the exact same spot every single time. So we didn't move those circles at all. So again, notice we've got these same three dots on every single element of our design. Once you have all of your layers weeded out, what you're going to want to do is I like to make a stack in order of which layer is going to be on the top all the way to what's going to be the very last layer. And that way, as I'm going through this process, it's a lot easier for me and I don't conf get confused as to which layer comes next. So I've gone ahead and I've done that here and I've made a stack. And now it's time to use my clear transfer tape to get them all put together. I'm going to take, this is my very top layer, and I'm going to take my transfer tape and I'm just going to put some transfer tape right on top of that layer. And then I'm going to cut off any extra that I have. Right here on the side, I'm just going to trim it down. And I'm also going to trim off this extra part here at the bottom because I know I'm not going to need anything that goes past those three dots. And then I can save this piece of transfer tape for another project. Once I have this design on my transfer tape, I'm going to want to just squeegee it on there, make sure I've got no bumps. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel up the backing off of this vinyl and make sure that the vinyl has adhered to your transfer tape. And I'm gonna peel that up, and then I'm just gonna scoot it up a little bit, and I'm gonna leave those three dots exposed. But I'm gonna leave the vinyl I just applied, I wanna to continue to have backing on that, so that as I line this up, it doesn't accidentally get stuck. I'm gonna take this next layer, and I'm gonna line these three dots up exactly. And as soon as I've got them in line, I will push them down and I'm going to bend my transfer tape like this, peel it up, take your squeegee and just flatten your transfer tape all the way down onto your design to make sure there's no bubbles. And then we'll do the next layer. We'll take the backing, we'll peel the backing up, 
Leave those three dots exposed. the backing over this one. My final layer is like my base. Peel out this backing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Pull this off and I'm going to put it right here on top and then I can take my design and I can trim it down, trim off those registration marks because I don't need those anymore. Those were just to make sure it was totally lined up. Trim off any extra transfer tape that I have on the sides. This is all trash. And now my super cute scarecrow is ready to be applied. Thanks for tuning in and I can't wait to see your layered decals.